and she has since gone on to become our biggest with more than half a million views. But Elsa was really hard to learn how to control with her skating, so we thought we'd come back and offer some tips and tricks on how to get Elsa to skate easier. Well, now that I have Elsa unpackaged, I want to go over a couple of details. First off, there's a try me button right here. So if you want to hear Elsa just sing, you can press her button. And turn it off in that way. She's not skated and singing. Also, the instructions do not tell you that the wheels do not pivot. So when Elsa is skating forward, both wheels go forward. But when you execute a turn, one wheel goes forward and the other wheel goes backwards. Those are her features, so let's try her out on skating. On Elsa's controller, we found that if you push any point on the triangle, she will work. But it does work best if you push the points where the arrows indicate. And she has a 25 foot range. Now, this controller is set to 27 megahertz. We have another controller also set to 27 megahertz that gave Elsa a whopping 250 foot range. So that means the, the distance is controlled by the remote control and not by Elsa herself. Well, I found that getting Elsa to sing and skate fluidly takes a little mastering. You have to alternate the controllers really fast back and forth in order for her to not have jerky movements and stop and start constantly. 